what's up guys it's the only ninja wearing a good defense super hat and welcome to the modern ninja channel this is my third video breaking this giant staff combination and breaking it down into digestible chunks so at the end of a month you can have an awesome combination that you can do anytime you want to just show off a little bit and if you really want to show off a little bit make sure you check out this awesome ninja fam merch because if you are part of this channel if you are subscribed to this channel you're part of the ninja fam so definitely check it out links down below but anyway this is going to be one of the harder tricks in this combination this is going to be the chest roll to tap and then you're gonna also do a behind the head catch so we got a lot to cover today so let's get started So first we're gonna want to get our wind up. Now I've covered this in several videos before, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but to get everyone up to speed, you've just done your, your palm spin and you caught it right on this end of the middle of your bow staff. So if you were to give yourself thumbs up, you're holding it on the bottom end of your bow staff. You're going to wrap forward, around, and behind. Again, that's gonna go forward, around the head, and behind, just like so. This is to get it, on this opposite hip nice and slow it's going to be forward around and behind full speed just like this now you're going to want to then have it roll up your chest in a body roll but you're going to want to aim at your opposite ear so if it's on your left side right now it should be going towards your right ear and you're just going to use your wrist to flick it up your chest just like so now the trick to get it to go away from your chest is to actually pop your chest out at the last second when it's just barely touching your chest and about to leave onto your shoulder, you wanna use your chest to pop it out. Now first, you're gonna to wanna to get used to taking your momentum around, up, and out, just like so. Just get used to that, do that a couple times until you feel comfortable doing this trick. But instead of catching it, what you're actually gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna hit it palm up so that it rotates in the air and then just palm down catching the other side once you catch it you're actually going to flip it in the opposite direction going up and catching it behind your head now how do you catch it behind your head that's what i'm going to show you you're going to take your hand palm up and place it right behind your head now to warm up you're just going to want to hand off your staff just to just to know where you have to toss it every time just like that then once you get comfortable you're gonna let go and toss and then you're gonna move on to actually spinning your staff just before you catch it so what that means is you're basically gonna catch the same side that your hand was touching before your hands touching right here and you catch in that same spot and then you just put it all together you're gonna wind up up your chest hit and catch and then catch behind your head and bring it back to your hip just like this. At full speed, it'll look something like this. And there you have it. This is definitely the harder of the three videos that we're gonna be going over. So make sure you take time and practice. And as I'm sure you know, I can't cover all the basics in my videos every time I do tutorials. So if you wanna feel more comfortable with the staff or if you've never touched the staff before, I will be releasing a custom package that will take you from never touching a staff before in your life to being confident with any staff in your hand. So if you wanna know more about that, I'll either have it in the description or if it's not released yet, by the time I release this video, I'll be posting about it later so just you know subscribe so you don't miss when i talk about it but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out